In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make your TikTok videos once uploaded automatically upload to Dropbox. Now, the reason why people do this and like this is because otherwise the only way to do this is to download it to your phone and then automatically take that, upload it to Dropbox. And if you do not upload and save all your videos, they just get lost and you could lose them if your account gets banned or anything like that happens. So you do want to make sure that your content is your content and you save it. So a lot of people like to use uh, Google Drive and a lot of people like to use Dropbox. So today we're gonna to be showing you how to set it up so that when you upload or post your TikTok video, you don't even have to think about it anymore. It just automatically goes to your Dropbox. So let's go ahead and dive into it. So first, obviously you need to sign up for repurpose.io. So there's a free uh, trial down below. You can go ahead and check it out. It's really easy to get started. And I think you're really gonna love it because you can do workflows from Instagram to Facebook, TikTok, Pinterest, Twitter, YouTube Shorts. We really have so many different opportunities for you to maximize your time with social media and content, which is cool. So today what we wanna do is do TikTok to Dropbox. So um, you're not gonna have all these workflows. These are mine. I'm one of the workflow nerds. So you probably won't have to see all that stuff, but you wanna make sure that your TikTok and your Dropbox are connected. So you go to the connections tab on the left side and then you'll see all your different connections right now i don't even think i have dropbox so i do have my tiktok so what you do is go to add a new connection and if you do not have tiktok already you just simply click tiktok and it will come up and you can connect it so you do uh connect and you do probably want to on direct publish which is awesome so once your tiktok is connected then you simply want to go back to add a new connection and do dropbox and so for me, I don't have Dropbox, so I'll do connect and then I do allow and then it's done. So now I have TikTok and Dropbox in my connections. So once that's done, then I'll go to workflows. Okay. So we're here in workflows. We're going to do create a new workflow on the top, right? We're going to name this uh, TikTok to Dropbox automatic. So then you can name it whatever you want, just so that you know what the workflow means. And you want to choose a source type. Our source will be a TikTok video. Yep. And then the source connection is TikTok. You can have multiple TikTok accounts connected. Uh, I only have one. So that I have that as my source. You hit next and then you'll come to choose an action. It'll be upload the video and then it'll be the full video. So don't do snippets. It'll be upload video, full video. Press next. Now we will choose the destination. So the destination will go to Dropbox. Now what's cool is you can choose a Dropbox folder if you have some set up already. I do not believe I do. So obviously there's not gonna be any there. Or you, what's cool is you can actually create a new folder as well, so TikTok videos. And uh, I can do create new folder right here and it should be good to go. See, now it says select a Dropbox folder as TikTok videos. And I just created it right here within here. And again, if you already have a bunch of different folders already saved and organized, then you can just choose from Dropbox, which is nice. Once you have that set up, you just press done and it should be good to go. Now it's loading. So if you go down here, there's one that's called TikTok to Dropbox automatic. And so there's the manual. So like if you don't want it to automatically do it, you'll have to literally do view content and manually schedule the videos to go into Dropbox, which I don't think many people want to do. So go back to workflows. And what we have to do is set it from TikTok to Dropbox automatic to auto. Okay. And then which content do you want to back up? There's a lot of different options here. Okay. Yes. Also, also schedule all my existing content. So you can do all the content that you've already created and it can be scheduled. Yes. Also schedule existing content published on a specific date. So if you only want content from TikTok to go to your Dropbox from a specific date, you can select that and select the date. You can say yes, only schedule existing content on or before a specific date. So it's kind of the same thing. Or you can say no, I only want new content, which is what I will have. So I'm guessing most people want their existing content though. So you probably want to do that. But for me, I'm not going to want um, my old content on here for this workflow particularly, but that's just me. So now that you selected that, the um, this goes from manual to auto, which means that it's active. So now anytime that I post a TikTok video, 
it will automatically within two hours go to Dropbox without you having to do anything, which is super cool. And so that's the power of repurpose.io. Everything is done behind the scenes automatically. And you know, it's less work for you. You set it up once and it just make sure that your connections don't drop for whatever reason. Sometimes the platforms randomly need you to uh, re, re uh, put up the status. Uh, but other than that, it's really hands off. It's really cool. So this is simply for beginners, how you go from TikTok automatically to Dropbox. Let me know if you have any questions about this. Uh, it can save you a lot of time, uh, especially like with TikTok, how they family, um, sometimes ban accounts or, you know, you always want to prepare for the worst with your content. You put a lot of time into it. Let's make sure that you get to keep that content. Even if something happens, you still have it with you. So let, let us know if you have any questions about this or you want us to do specific videos in the future. We'd love to go ahead and help you out with those. In the meantime, watch this video because it can definitely help you out with your repurpose.io strategies. And we'll see you in the next one.